so right here we continue to working and we have our one combiner next what I want to do I want to add maybe a little bit more coastal effect and again I'm not sure if I want to do this just to the edge for this we'll go again to the natural we'll select the coastal running let's put it right here and we'll just select put it in so again let's go ahead preview a little bit closer I just want to see how it will look and notice we have some right here reverse start covering so we can this is without so we can kind of bring in you know maybe add a little bit water effect higher smooth out just add this water erosion effect Keep on a harder. Let's go a little bit more on the cliffs. And if I want, yeah, let's hit, give it just a little bit hard edge. This kind of will look nice, like almost it's a harder rock, and it's it through this. Again, let me look. Have actually still have a nice height, so we can bring water up to this level right here where it's all going sometimes in these areas we maybe need to rework a little bit add a little bit too high because we have it same as beach but again or you can touch out and just slightly dig in a little bit more but overall yeah we have a nice erosion is going Okay, let's go click preview very fast okay. this is will just add render a little bit more detail so we can preview with the better details again and this is set right now 512 by 512 so we want to go a little bit higher than that and right here you know what uh, right this area kind of Maybe one expand a little bit more, but again, because it's what happened, erosion is bring all this stuff down, and we have a higher mountain, so this all elements it's work very well. Okay, let me go ahead and see if we want to smooth just barely right here and bring water level. more down just a little bit readjusting okay smaller okay one more again preview okay and you can see we have it yeah like this way a little bit better I do like how right here work bring our stuff so I think this can work very well okay next we need to take all of those um, out so right here we have our output elements and they by default connect to our one erosion but except I don't want this I want to have it multiple and for this we actually need to use a different chooser because right here you can see we have a flow map where map but I want combined floor map, so I'm going to put one more chooser right here, and we can go to same connect same way. And now we have it on this exit. You can see we have the floor map combined. So same things if we want to have it on deposits or we have it. The other ones but again with some of them I don't need because this one is our lowers and deposits will happen on the lower so I want to take where map actually deposit map and I think mine is oh, this is where and this is my deposit 
so I want deposit map connect from this point okay I want our where map leave it as is because it will be on a higher level that is correct okay right here is our flow actual flow I want connect to our flow and our height I want we have two choices we can connect to our height and actually with the other ones we need connect to our reach so we'll connect right here okay next I want to go to actually you know what let's um, rename this okay so we'll kind of know which one it is okay this one if I'm right was where yes okay we'll go to rename these ones to it's kind of a help to know which one is what so next let's go to select two more Okay, and right here, this will be our water. And this one is will be our beach. Connection. So now we have all of these maps. In some cases, if you want preview, if you have a better choice to look kind of black and white, you always can add some different map and have a converter, color converter added. And for example, like right here, we can, it's actually wrong one. We can add colorizer and like flow and save this way. So we can do, map this way but this work as well okay next what I want to do is be sure our path is set and name is set properly so I'm going set here and I'm just going to be sure it's set all, all proper let me copy this name Okay, we'll go to this one. Okay, you can always verify it one more time. Okay, we'll go to set properly name on all of them. Just be sure everything. And this will be nice if it was after naming, but if you don't, it will override if you already have it. So right here I have it uh, done. I don't need this one just to as example. And here we have it, our simple map with the layout generators. So we're going to create different shapes. We're creating cut off mask for our rivers. We apply different type of erosion and control it by the height so we can modify. And of course you can add more different type erosions on different type of the areas we also have our um, kind of our effects erosions going here and we have it, our outputs done so next I'm going to increase resolution so I'm going to 249 you probably want to go a little bit higher and normally I'll do um, at least 4000 by 4000 but for this tutorials 249 will do good so I'll click OK and again I'm going to build all of this I'm going to pause this tutorial and come back when it's completed okay so right here it's finished um, rendering and it's take about only five minutes so it's very good speed and next I'm going to output manager and just click export all of course you always can go and preview you can see um, Okay, let me select properly one. Okay, you can preview on your final render. Right here, maybe a little bit hard edges, but I want to keep it so the water will cover them 
and if you come closer you will see this depth in water so I think this is look good okay and I think next we can go inside the vu and um, just the extra ink there okay so we inside the vu and again um, I won't do anything very fancy rendering just basic terrain to showing you and to do this we'll just create a standard terrain okay we'll go to edit object let's go to reset it and I'm going to bring this 248 okay we'll go to add image okay and right here I have plenty of other ones by the way if you um, purchasing these tutorials you'll have it all of these maps which is actually have it some very high resolution maps you can use it for your purpose if you just uh, watching so you can render your own and this is what I was using in okay, case 248 and how I said before if you look on this this is a little bit higher so we'll go to open okay and I'll just set as a 50% okay so right here we have it our basic um, preset maybe a little bit too high from what we had before so we can adjust and in a view of course you can adjust by numbers or just slightly going down um, also other things what I want to do right here you can look we have it right now one kilometer by one and before it was about 26 kilometers so I'm just going to set 10 by 10 for this purpose of this tutorial but you can set height you want it and I'll say high to 500 meters okay let me go up and the reason why I'm done with this size so I can look a little bit from atmosphere view without too high distortions because I said before you can modify the settings you prefer okay maybe around here so we can see just slightly better overall terrain okay as well let's you know what in the atmosphere I'm just going to reduce all of this so we have a very nice clean sharp look okay now let's work on some materials for our terrain and I'm going to use the basic for this just select the ground default we'll go flip and I want to use just dark so simple materials I'm using as a world standard for this and just leave it as default on everything else um, you can bring down we can just just have this one reduced by health so just get a little bit more details extra to this the next let's add additional layer and I want to just create um, maybe flow and this will be sand so we'll do that one okay again I'm just simple for this material use it zero and we'll use global transparency if you're using some other applications um, by using utilize alpha map to control distribution this is what they call splatter maps but in view it's normal we just use transparency as well for time and we'll just go right here select and we have a T flow open I want inverse this it look very messy because we did not set so let's go by linear hierarchies and we need to set this to the object parametric so let's go ahead preview very fast okay so right here you can see we have it nice going sometimes maybe a little bit too sharp on the edges it's map a little bit sharp so we can always add um just a little bit down so smooth out kind of blending a little bit better together you can see it's have better edges now Okay, let's go ahead next I want to add um, 
sum on top where the where was will add grass to this so I'll just select grass we can switch even now to object parametric and one thing I want to do it's right here set to zero depth same will set zero overlay and color alpha we always can reduce in size as well like this okay next we're going to adjust this to the transparency again we'll go to variable transparency okay go right here select it and we have it one is the this one where so we'll open that one again I want to use binary and switch it click OK preview you can see we have a nice where now going on top so we have a good overlay next let's do one more deposits and actually deposits I want to do um, this way okay like deposits where flow so kind of know which one we can deposit I want to create my own just have the color will go to transparency can I have said before we'll just do very fast one maps so kind of preview and right here we have deposits over parametric okay the one thing you'll notice we may be bring it a little bit down because if you look on map distribution it's overlay slightly so but I want to add to the edges so what we're going to do is take our flow pop up up above okay we'll preview now and you can see kind of some areas coming up very nicely okay and with layering you can also add the one that you think you want to kind of bring a little bit more out again the flow so we can add a little bit over okay let's go ahead next and this one is actually will be for the um, with water on the beach so we'll do this one will go again apply it zero and I'm doing zero because it's a very high um, altitude so you can if you come closer you can add any additional um, bump maps for this okay we'll go to add okay and right here we have it right here this one okay same switch binary okay and put it object parametric this is just add extra if you notice right here some areas kind of like leave it more to the color and of course I want to add a little bit more blend on this you know maybe pop up where just above this normal with map kind of position you can see which one will work well together but I kind of like how it's already looking so we have okay on this one um, with the view and just bring slightly up so we have an opening and we can also take the ground click OK right here so it will be similar terrain slightly down let's take our main camera maybe you know reposition kind of look up a little bit
So just kind of readjusting so I can see like how it's going. And this is, I think distribution look very good on materials. So we can bring closer. Let's add a little bit layer of water. And I'm just bring water slightly up. Again, this is very rough. I don't want to go into too much details, but you can see with the beach we have a nice depth going right here in the areas. Let me take a duplicate camera, just go from this angle as well. Just preview from different angles and you can see we have nice water right here. We could rework a little bit more. And nice things about Vu because you can actually go inside terrain. Okay, we can invert flow size, and we can actually just slightly even sculpt right here on terrain. So we can create a little bit more depth. Again, one thing when we apply this depth, remember this is one effect materials. So wherever you have distribution materials, those ones will go. You can paint over if you want it. You can create another mask and paint over this way. But purpose of this tutorial just to showing can Just one kind of go over. Click OK. And we can take water and bring a little bit more down. So you can see what we're done right here. This is ours. Again, this is very rough adjustment but overall okay, let's preview up above okay as well we'll just set render for our kind of final preview render and see it. Okay, so right here is the render is done. It took about two and a half minutes and you can see we have a nice terrain distribution. It's going very good. Right here I like the foam that we'll create right here on a coastal. So overall here's an example how we can mix different type of the um, erosions or readjustment erosion depend on the level and how we can create some river cutting through the mountain. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geeked Play Studio. And please remember, visit us on the web is www.geekedplay.com.